Welcome to The God Room with Danny Hobble. Danny's art ministry has touched millions of people around the world. For the past four decades, Danny has shared his talent by spreading the Word of God through art. Join us now as Danny shares his inspiration behind the talent in The God Room. Spiritual eye is more like the eye that God uses mm -hmm. when He sees things. And we are really to see, try to see things the way that the Lord sees things. From His you perspective. Know, from His perspective. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, if, if we see things more like that, mm -hmm. um, we can understand Him better. Right. And we, we have a less failure rate, if, we, mm -hmm. if you will, um, in, his, in His work. I remember, you know, it sounds funny, but it's kind of connected. I remember, I think well, most of us can probably relate to this. I used to think my mom had three eyes. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, you know, I, I wasn't a bad kid, but I, you know, I had my mischievous yeah. times and whatever. And whenever I would do something that wasn't quite right or a little mischievous or whatever, mm -hmm. my mom would know. Mm -hmm. And I'd sit there and go, she's got to have three eyes. How did she know that? There's no yeah. way that she can know that. And I think a lot of that was probably, um, I mean, she was a Christian, mm -hmm. but I mean, you know, still I think a lot of that is, you know, God, the Holy Spirit, letting them know something to correct the child. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I think, you know, we need to kind of develop that, to, to see more like mm -hmm. God sees. I remember a, a story uh, I heard a long time ago. It was, um, it was about an eagle. And the, as the story went, there was these people that were on a on a uh, a mountain trip, and they were they were on the road, and the road was like really windy and going around the you know the bends and what have you. And as they're going down the mountain and around the mountain, they get stuck behind a truck, which probably a lot of us have done. Yeah. You know, and you're trying to look around the truck, and you know, as you see a little pass, it's getting to be a bend, and you're not quite sure if you're going to make it or not, and Anyhow, the story goes that, you know, they, they were getting impatient. They tried to pull out a couple of times, and then another car would come around the corner. They had to get back in. And, you know, it, it, it was like they were saying, you know, if we could only see what's around the oh, bend and yes. whatever, mm -hmm. you know, then we'd be fine. We could just take off and not worry about it, mm -hmm. you know. And, and you know, they, they looked up and they saw this eagle on it, and they thought, you know, if we could just communicate with that eagle, he could tell us when to pull out, and we'd be fine, because it wasn't going fast, it's just you couldn't see around the bends. Right. And, you know, when we have the Lord on our side, it's just like that, because there's a lot of times we don't know when to pull out, mm -hmm. when to stay behind the truck, and as people, you know, we're, we're pretty impatient, you know, we just want to move. And, you know, but, but the Lord has that sight. You know, he, he sees the whole big picture. Mm -hmm. He sees what's way ahead of us, and you know, before it actually comes to us. So don't and you think the key is, like you mentioned before, is communicating. You wish you communicate with the eagle. It's right. the same thing with God when we spend time with him. You know, when we pray and we're right. in communion with him, that communication, you know, through that he can tell us or warn us or what's around the bend. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And, and, and we need that in life because we don't know what's ahead of us. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, you know, um, or, you know, next year or what have you, you know, not only with ourselves, but, mm -hmm. you know, with our kids, which we care about. And yet God sees that. Mm -hmm. He sees the whole big picture. He knows what's happening throughout our whole lives till we're dead and beyond that. Right. And so he's got that big picture. He's the big eagle up there. Right. And like you say, if we communicate with him, and you know, communication is not just so much uh, praying, of course, is communicating with God, but it's not so much just communicating w with God in prayer. It's also, you know, what the God room is all about, spending quiet alone time with God. He tells you so mm -hmm. many things, you know. Um, it, it's just, it speaks to your spirit. Right. You know, and it gives you that, that third eye. Um, we had a, uh, an interesting thing happen to us. So, actually it's a few, couple weeks by now, uh, past now. Uh, it was a friend of ours. 
that had a problem and it was it rather than going into what the problem was it was pretty much um, she was on a property she had a tree was growing that was their neighbors wasn't happy about the tree they tried to work it out uh, they weren't being very compatible with the whole thing and what they ended up doing was putting a tree because it's right next to their property another tree that was going to grow and when it finally gets up there it's going to destroy their tree and they were kind of distraught about it and they're Christians and they were kind of wondering how to handle it and um, so there was a group of us who was in one of the cell group meetings we were having and um, so we're all talking about it you know what the resolve is and what to do with it and uh, it's it's funny because we're all sitting around trying to resolve the problem and of course trying to do it the best way the Christian way and what have you and the funny thing about that was <laughs> We get it all solved up, and you know, we, we come to some kind of conclusion um, that you know what to do with it and the best Christian way to handle it, whatever. And when we get it all done up. Um, my wife is sitting all the way in, in the corner, and we're all kind of talking and stuff. And she's she's over there, and she, and she speaks up, and she says, she says, "That's not what you're supposed to do. That's not how you're going to solve this thing." And we all, of course, turned around and looked at her like, you know, we're well, all in agreement. And, yeah. and so, you know, she says, no, she says, you guys are looking at fixing the problem. She says, God looks at it as an opportunity. Maybe it's an opportunity. And it was like so off the wall. It was great. Well, what really uh, impacted me was that day I was watching TV and there was something that Joseph Prince had said. Okay. And he was talking about the environment. And he said, Jesus didn't die to save the trees. He died to save the people. And that kept going on over and over in my mind is the perspective of, you know, here it was a tree. I mean, Christ died on the tree. It's, it's about consecrating the actual tree problem to get to the bigger picture. Right. Like sometimes we have to consecrate our pride or, or yeah. put it at the foot of the cross and go for the perspective of, Okay, why am I drawn to this person? Why are, why is this problem persisting? Is it perhaps to pray for that person? Yeah. You know, to see it in a bigger picture. But again, you know, the the whole perspective, which was the great, what you said was that was you know we were we were solved, trying to solve the problem, which as people that's what we do, especially men. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's what guys do all the time. We're problem solvers, you know. Yeah. Um, but you know, we were trying to solve the problem, and yet the whole thing, when you look at it. You know, from God's perspective, because see, God doesn't look at things as a problem. If we have anything in our life, if it's a financial crisis, if it's a sickness, uh, whatever it is, we look at it as, oh, it's a problem, and we go to prayer right. and hope that God fixes it. God does not look at it as a problem. Mm -hmm. he, you know, to him, he's going, look, I've got it already figured out. It, you know, it's going to work out fine. Don't worry about that. My concern, from God speaking, my concern is that there's an opportunity here for you to learn something or for you to grow or you yeah. to do whatever it is. And that's what he's focusing on and we're focusing on the problem. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened when we were sitting there as we were all trying to figure this problem that uh, this mm -hmm. person had and my wife just says, no, you know, it's, it's God's looking well, at it as an opportunity. I thought it was wonderful. It, it was I mean, insight. as we're speaking right now, I, I'm actually seeing from God's perspective as he's looking down upon these properties. And it's like, how do I get these people together? Because one is, isn't saved, isn't born again. They right. don't know the Lord. Where the other one is a Christian. It's like, this might be the only opportunity to draw these two together. True. Where a door will be open to communicate and to just bring up the Lord. Or, first of all, to pray for that person. Mm -hmm. Because everything, every opportunity is about God working on our character as well. So exactly. when things uh, yeah. happen and we see our character might not be dealing with it the right way, you know, we can sense that inside and we're troubled. And we can be troubled for years over a tree situation yeah. or over something in our family where he's wanting us to truly see the perspective of we are here to draw all men unto him, right. all men and women. So every opportunity that comes about, like we have uh, another friend who in w one or two weeks' time, uh, a mirage of problems happening with her house, with her plumbing, uh, killer bee swarms, 
the roof, uh, the, the, the septic tank, and all at once, all these problems were happening. And she took it to the Lord, and she saw it already as opportunity. Oh, okay. She had a certain comfort about her because she knew whoever the roofer was, whoever the exterminator was, whatever, she would have a chance to witness to that person. Right. And through all those circumstances, most of us would have been so overwhelmed by everything that hit her. In just a matter of a yeah. couple of weeks, it would have drawn us away from the Lord. We would have been doubting our faith. Yeah. But, you know, this woman, uh, she's a wonderful example to us of how to turn yeah. property er, problems into solutions from the Lord. Because we, we call her Miss Divine Appointment. Yeah. So she is <laughs> looking for yeah. every opportunity to be a witness and to draw people. And those opportunities happened with everyone that was involved in the repair work. Yep. She witnessed to wonderful things happened. And, you know, that was, that's amazing, her testimony to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, you know, and, and we, need, we need to look at that. I mean, you mm -hmm. know, I think all of us, I mean, the, re the fact that you're watching this program even, um, apparently you have a love for the Lord yes. and you know if you love somebody you want to please them you know and the way that you get to please them is to know who they are how they think what they like right. and you know with 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 God you know to understand God I mean even the Bible says you know without faith it's impossible to please God mm -hmm. so I mean right there we know okay we got to have the faith and you know that's it's it's just looking at things from a different perspective than than normal people do, and that's right. what I'm talking about with the third eye. I mean, even with us, we just recently moved here, and you know we were in another place, mm -hmm. and we were renting that place out. And when the whole time came, when um, it's a big thing, but the the landlord had problems, and they ended up losing the house. Is what happened. And of course, being renters, we had to move it after the whole thing was done. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when we're going through that, you know, we we're going, oh, you know, because we love the place. It was yes. beautiful. Um, and we kept saying, oh, we really don't want to leave, but, you know, well, maybe God's got something bigger. And, and the thing is here that, you know, we made all our payments on time. We were great tenants. We did, we did everything that we were supposed to do that was right mm -hmm. and that was pleasing to the Lord. So when the rug got pulled out from under us, we had perfect peace, even though we were leaving a place that we thought was the, probably the nicest place we've ever been in. Um, and we thought, well, you know, um, we just trust in the Lord. We did everything that we were supposed to do, and the rug got pulled out, so apparently God's got something better. And I'm not saying this so that, you know, oh, well, you know, patting each other on the back, but what I'm saying is we had perfect peace when we moved then that it wasn't some bad thing happening to us, that actually it was a good thing, because mm -hmm. we knew that God was in control. And if we did everything that we were supposed to do, mm -hmm. we knew that God then, therefore, had a better plan for us. I mean, even if the house was, and the house that he gave us, the one we're in right. you know, now, I mean, it's beautiful. You know, this is a, 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 a <laughs> I think it's nicer, actually, we didn't even know that. But that was the point, even if the house wasn't that great, God was would have moved us someplace to build maybe our character. Oh, Whatever yes. it was, it was going to benefit us more than where we were well, at. Well, it's really not just about us. This move was about what was going to benefit the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Because when and we were yes, called you're, you're into right. this yeah, video right. ministry, we didn't have enough room for a studio to be able to do this. And so, you right. know, we understood that God had a plan for us. He had a video ministry for us. Yeah. We needed a, a larger place, but it was for the kingdom of God mm -hmm. that something he a purpose that he wanted done, you know. And so, and he because it's the perspective again. He saw the big picture, and that home before was given to us perfect timing. It was a great blessing, and then it's like okay, we have another see. God has another season for us. Yeah. And the, this video ministry is another season. It's another Yeah, we have far more room to, to do the, the yeah. video now. We didn't really have the room back then. No, we didn't. You know, uh, actually the God room started back then. That's, that's when, because that was right yes. after my operation. Um, and that's when my, uh, they termed it God room because that was, you know, the mm -hmm. room that I used to, 
my wife used to wheel me out there every day because I was just after an operation. I couldn't even move or do right. anything. And she would wheel me out into, it was like an open lanai, you know, mm -hmm. just an open place. And um, we'd just go out there and I would just spend time with God. I mean, I couldn't do anything else. I was a pretty mm -hmm. captive audience, yeah. but it was great because it, it, it made me appreciate that God, God's space is probably a yes. better word, but I use God's room, you know, where we're just quiet alone time mm -hmm. with the Lord. And, you know, so that it developed right. there. And now from here, we've continued that same thing, you know, into, you know, the, our quiet time alone with the Lord and the God yeah. room thing, but it's in a, a different place, but it's still the same thing. So it started back then, mm -hmm. but now it's developed into where we can take this, mm -hmm. the whole thing that the Lord has been teaching us in this, yes. and sharing it with you. you well, know? And, and the word says that, you know, deep calls unto deep. And we were at a certain level or a certain place, and he wanted to take us into deeper, like a deeper walk, deeper communication. Right. You know, like you were saying, the communication factor. Okay, the third eye to me is the Holy Spirit. Oh, absolutely. And truly learning the realm of the Holy Spirit and how powerful and intimate that can be. And uh, a lot of Christians aren't taught about the Holy Spirit like yeah. we have been taught. And so, to me, I'm learning more about the Holy Spirit, which would actually would be the third well, eye. Well, and that's the whole thing. Father, I mean, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And, and I mean, you know, when, when I grew up, and even when I, when I became a Christian and stuff, I mean, I knew about the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I knew it was part of the Trinity. Um, and respected it and everything like mm -hmm. that. But I didn't really have the knowledge that I have as I know. of late. And I think we're all in that. I mean, you know, the, the Lord is just opening up doors, the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit. Um, yeah. I'd like to give you this Bible verse. Mm -hmm. It talks a lot about that. It's 1 Corinthians 2, 10 through 13. And it says, But it was to us that God revealed these things by His Spirit. For His Spirit searches out everything and shows us God's deep secrets. No one can know a person's thought except that person's own spirit. And no one can know God's thoughts except God's own spirit. And we have received God's spirit, not the world's spirit, so we can know the wonderful things that God has freely given us. I mean, you know, that's, that's the whole thing. Like you said, that third eye, it is the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. That is what the third eye is. That's what we're talking about here, yes. you know. But using that, you know, if, if you can, let me put it this way. If, if you can combine you know, um, spending a, quite a long time with the Lord. Mm -hmm. We call it the God room, but you call it whatever you want. But mm -hmm. spending that quiet, quality alone time with the Lord so you can hear what He has to say. Yes. Couple that with with a, a good prayer life. And that doesn't mean you have to spend hours and, and hours on it, but you know, if there's something that you, you need to bring before the Lord, bring it to Him. And besides that, understand the power of our words for yes. speaking, speaking things out when, when we're speaking something against something or, you know, asking for the blessings. You couple those three together, you're going to have Satan trembling in a corner so bad, he'll probably mm -hmm. have a heart attack. I mean, that's his biggest fear is right. the fact that we understand who we are. I mean, we have to know who we are to have yeah. the power that the Lord has given us. He has given us the power of the sons of God. Do you know what that means? That's, that's, that's like almost yes. as big as, as, as Jesus himself. Even Jesus says, you know, you can move mountains, whatever. The things that I do, you can even do more things yeah. than that. I mean, you know, and he, you know, Jesus doesn't exaggerate. So when he's saying this, you know, if you put all that together... I mean, we have so much power, we can just mm -hmm. kick butt pretty bad, right. you know. But we have to understand, you know, understand the Lord, understand where mm -hmm. He's going, so we're going in the, and walking with Him correctly. And then understand, you know, um, keep it bridle on our tongues, you know, mm -hmm. what we say, and mean what we say, and know that what we say will happen. You know, like the, the Lord says, He says, ask in my name, mm -hmm. and it shall be done. Right. That's a pretty big thing. Right. Yeah, and when you talk about the the third eye, uh, since we moved here, I've prayed a lot 
for the spirit of revelation and wisdom. Seeing, and yeah. the spirit of revelation is truly opening that third eye, opening uh, right. through the Holy Spirit. And when I pray in the Spirit more, and I pray for revelation, and the revelation, yes, I want to know the Lord more. I want as close of a, a communion with Him. But I want to be effective in the kingdom. I want revelation to be able to help his people and to come into the place where I, you know, I'm effective in him. So that's something to pray for. You know, the third eye, the spirit of revelation, uh, our eyes to be open, uh, look up scriptures that pertain to that and pray and speak those things. Because uh, a lot of us, we have things over our eyes, blinders that we don't even know are there. Oh, yeah. You know. Well, you know, and a lot of things, I mean, it, it, even the Bible speaks of it. Mm-hmm. In, um, in Isaiah 55, 8 through 9, it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. That goes back to... You know, what we, we started off with earlier today, talking about, you know, the eagle and seeing things. You know, his thoughts are, are higher than our thoughts. And, and you know, for us to, to gain that wisdom, we have to be in the right place. Because, you know, to know all these things is where there's, you know, to, the Bible also says to whom much is given, much is required. If he gives us all this wisdom, we're responsible for it now. So he's not going to just, you know, open all the doors and show us everything that's going to be happening because mm-hmm. we're not ready for it. Mm-hmm. We're just not not that mature in the Lord. But as we grow in him, we become more mature right. in the Lord. And he can open up, you know, different doors for us to see different things. And we get blown away with it. But, I mean, you know, then we can act mm-hmm. on it because he knows we're mature enough to handle it correctly. Not just sit there gazing at it and not moving, you know, being right. like... Like deers in a headlight kind of thing, yeah. you know, and so that's you know, again, that's the third eye is you know just going through with, with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will open these things for us. You know, He's the one, like the Bible says, you know, He's the one that that reveals the secrets to us. You know, and I mean, there's so many things. I, there was something I can't even remember what it was today, but I mean, there was something in um, I was I was reading earlier this week. Mm-hmm. And it's so funny. I'm sure you've had this happen to yourself. It's something I've read in the Bible probably maybe 10, 12 times or more. Mm -hmm. But this time when I read it, all of a sudden, it's like, oh, I get it now. I got it to a certain degree, but it wasn't crystal clear. And the Holy Spirit revealed it even Mm -hmm. more clear to me. You know, that's your third eye. That's Mm -hmm. the eye that we see, you know. And, you know... If we spend quiet time with the Lord, and we, we spend the quality time with God, you know, and that just means sitting and listening to what He has to, or just sitting with Him. He's your buddy. He, well, God loves you. Wouldn't you just like to yes. sit with somebody that lo- that you love, mm-hmm. and you can just put your arm around and just watch the sunset? You don't have to mm-hmm. say anything. Sometimes I do that with the Lord. I'm sure you do too. Yes. And you know, but when you're doing that, it's building yourself up. I mean, building your spirit up more like the Lord Jesus Christ and in that that is where he has more confidence and opening up other doors little like I said the Bible verse that I was reading I read it a few times and I got that kind of message but now it's a whole nother message yeah and uh, something that we talked about this week while you were painting uh, you were saying that your eye is getting more developed and you were seeing all the different colors in well, the yeah, rows that you yeah. were painting, That's and true. it it yeah. actually does take uh, pressing in, uh, practicing, asking for revelation, being ready to receive, you know, from the Lord. So the more that you were painting, and the more that you're you were seeing things in yeah. a different way, in a more reality and. Yeah, but, you know, you yeah. being an artist, and that's true too. Just and I've been painting the what, third for forty eye. for forty something yeah. years. No, it's true. What my wife said is true. Mm-hmm. I said that earlier because um, I'm doing some smaller paintings and stuff mm-hmm. on the website, and uh, was 
was painting and, and it's like, you know, when I used to paint, and I've been painting for 40 something years and perfected it pretty good if you've seen some of the paintings, they look nice, they're good. But, you know, now is, as I'm, um, you know, going on with it, it seems um, I'm seeing more colors. When I'm looking at something, I can see a little bit more color. And I, when, I, when I go, oh, it needs a little bit more purple in there. I would have oh. never thought of that, but I added it to it and it was the perfect color yeah. that I needed. And that's, you know? and that's so, your natural you know, he's eye. developing certain things yeah. with me. I think it all plays together. Yeah. But uh, anyhow, that's what we have for you today. And I, hope, uh, I hope that's blessed you in some way. Because again, this is all about you guys. You know, this is not just about me and Diana. This is about helping you. We're just sharing with you stuff that the Lord has given us. There's nothing more important in life than your personal relationship with God. Nothing.